You're listening to The Low Blow on SWFight.com. Since they built the Barclays Center, this seemed like to be the fight that everyone wanted to see there. Have you thought about it all along, like this be the perfect Barclays Center fight? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, not even me. I mean, a lot of people have even mentioned that to me. You know, this would be a, a great fight uh, for Brooklyn uh, with the Barclays Center being built. So it kind of started to really pick up steam, pick up momentum as far as making this fight. And uh, once Zab signed with uh, Golden Boy, it was uh, pretty much a no-brainer. And how do you feel now, now that it's here? I mean, this is the two Brooklyn guys here. This is it's about as Brooklyn as it gets. Yeah, it's exciting. You know, uh, anytime you're part of a big promotion, it's exciting. But um, this one has a different feel to it, you know? Um, not that world championship fights aren't uh, exciting for me, because they certainly are. But um, this is not a world championship fight, but it still has that championship effect to it, that championship feel to it, that championship vibe to it. Because uh, you just know that the crowd in the in the arena when the main event comes on Saturday night will be into it just like a big championship fight. And what about your relationship? You guys have known each other for a long time. Uh, I guess you put all that aside once the bell rings. Yeah, yeah. Anytime the bell rings, you always put your feelings aside, uh, even if you have a respect for each other and you're friendly. Um, I was just saying to somebody else, you know, even when I spar my friends, I'm trying to knock them out, you know, and they're trying to do the same to me. So but being in a fight with so much more on the line is no different. Uh, we have a lot of respect for each other, but on Saturday night, we know what's on the line. You talk about the respect. It didn't exist in your last fight, so how does that change in the motivation? Um, just winning. You know, winning uh, what a win does for your career. Um, back to the wall kind of situation, coming off of a loss uh, for both of us, as a matter of fact. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a situation where there, there's plenty of motivation. If you can't get motivated fighting at this level, then you shouldn't be boxing. You shouldn't be doing much of anything. You, you might have to check your pulse to see if you're alive, because, you know, fight, fights on this kind of level, you know, they're, they're the kind of, those are the kind of things that motivate you in and of, the, in, in and of itself, in and of themselves. Uh, to be a part of such a big promotion, a big event, uh, it gets your adrenaline flowing. Talk about the fact that there are two Brooklyn Knights here in the main event in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center, out of all places. It's a big, it's a big thing, you know. It's a big deal. Uh, I think it supersedes any other main event Barclays has had, and that's saying a lot because Barclays has had world championship fights in each main event they've um, they've promoted, you know. So, so um, the fact that we have a non world championship main event, but two ex world champions both being from Brooklyn, I think it supersedes all the other cards we've had here. How important is bragging rights uh, in? It's big because you don't want to end up going home and running into somebody else, the other guy's fans, or you know, being reminded that you weren't even the best in your borough, so to speak. You know, you know, when a guy leaves town after he comes to your hometown, whether you won or lost, you don't have to see him. You don't have to yeah. see his fans. You know, they're gone. But then in this case, you know, you have to see the other person, people associated with the other guy, regardless. Whether it's respectful or not, you never want to come out looking second best or being second best. What about um, Gleason's? I know you're from Brooklyn. Have you ever trained at Gleason's before? Yeah, I started boxing Gleason's. I learned to boxing Gleason's. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, I spent a, a big part of my uh, early boxing years in Gleason's. Um, up until uh, early in my pro career, I was still training in Gleason's. So it has a special place in my heart. Without this place here, I would have never been the fighter I am. And so is this almost kind of a homecoming for you? Uh, to be back here promoting an event? Brooklyn is always a homecoming. You know, anytime I come back, it's a homecoming. Uh, no matter where I've lived, it's a homecoming. No matter where I've been, I, I come back here. I come back to Gleason's especially. It feels like a homecoming. Um, it still has a place in my heart regardless.